Hey guys, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. And so today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for camp. Oh! This summer I get to be a camp counselor. If you guys don't already know, I know I mentioned it in a few of my previous videos. And I was kind of just goofing around trying to figure out, okay, what can I do makeup wise when I'm there at camp? I'm not going to do anything insanely crazy, of course, because... I'm going to be at camp and it's going to all sweat off anyways. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Also really fast, it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button and also like this video. I've been trying to upload as much as possible even though I am at camp. So I literally am pre-filming all these videos and editing them in like two days. So that way they will all be there for you while I'm at camp. So when you're watching this, I will be at camp. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to take is this BB cream. This is the Garnier uh, Skin Active BB cream. You guys all have heard of this. Um, this is really my first time using it, so I'm excited to see how well it's going to work. I got the oily slash combo skin one because my friend was telling me, because as you guys know, I have really dry skin. But my friend was telling me, who also has dry skin, that the other, the original one is really greasy and how she uses the oily to com combo skin and it works amazing. I got this in light medium. I meant to just get this in light, but I accidentally messed up when I was grabbing them. But the, hopefully I'll be getting tan this summer and this will actually eventually match my skin. And then I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge. I'm also going to spray a few sprays with my mist, my facial mist. Put a little bit of this behind my hand. I cannot. Whoa. That is liquidy. You can tell it's by high fast coming down my hand. All right, let's get started. Yeah, that's definitely, it's definitely a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but I like the coverage that I guess. It doesn't give a whole lot. I don't know if you can tell on camera, there's still, you can still see my skin like underneath it but I actually really like that I think it gives me more of a natural complexion plus I like my freckles whenever I you know wear foundation obviously they get covered up so it's kind of nice that you can still see them for the most part but I'm actually surprised by the coverage it gave pretty much all my redness is gone out of my cheeks yeah I'm filming what like yeah um. All right, next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. This is the same eyebrow stuff that I've used in all my makeup videos that I've done. It's the L'Oreal um, Brow Style Frame and Set, and it's in deep brown, which I may have to go get a new one of these because the reason I had deep brown is because I didn't have the medium brown, and now with my roots, it actually is matching, but I'm about to go get my hair retouched up, so I know that this is going to be way too dark. And really fast before I start doing them, I'm just going to let you know I'm not going to go really full in with my brows like I normally would with concealer and stuff. I'm going to do it a little bit more lighter and just fill in the gaps but not go too crazy. Next I'm going to go in concealer. I've been really enjoying the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I've had a lot of friends tell me about this stuff and I just think it's really good. Again, I'm not going to go crazy with the under eye concealer just because sweat is definitely going to be a factor. Also, I'm going to probably be wearing this makeup for over 12 hours because I have a feeling I have to get up before my girls, which means that this will be, you know, this will be on my face um, around 7 o'clock in the morning, and then I probably won't be able to take it off till around like 10, 9 or 10 at night. So I want this to be able to wear throughout the day, but not, you know, come completely off. And I like how this concealer isn't very heavy. Whatever is left over on my sponge from getting the excess, I just like to pat it on 
my eyelids. I do have very veiny eyelids. So just kind of doing that and going a little bit over my nose just because that's where most of my makeup tends to fall out throughout the day the quickest. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Press Powder. As you can see, I love this stuff. I'm going to be taking it with a MAC as this 150 brush and I'm just going to very, very lightly brush this over my face. The reason that I'm lightly just sweeping it all over my face is because um, I feel like whenever I wear a lot of powder and I'm out in heat, it kind of makes whatever you know foundation or BB cream I'm wearing um, just kind of cling to the powder. I think that's also because I have dry skin. So by just putting a little bit on, I'm getting the, you know, getting it matte so that way it will set, but I'm not, um, not going crazy overboard. It's not gonna, you know, um, get cakey on my face. So now for my eyes, if I'm probably going to be doing any eyeshadow looks on my face, it's probably going to be something really simple. Honestly, I'll probably just be using this e.l.f. palette. This is the e.l.f. Uh, contouring blush and bronzer powder. Um, I really like the pinky color of this, just sometimes to put it in my crease instead of doing the um, bronzy color. What shall we do today? I'm going to do the bronzy color because I feel like I feel like that's what I'm going to stretch more for. And I'm taking the Scone um, Blending Brush. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to bring it down a little bit underneath my eyelashes. This is just going to kind of make my eyes look a little bit more contoured, which I love. It makes my eyes pop a little bit more than it did before. Right now, I do not have a really good waterproof mascara. That is something that I'm going to have to go out and buy in a few days. Um, so I'll probably run to Ulta either today or tomorrow or something like that. But just for today, I will be using my Benefit Roller Lash um, just because it's been my favorite right now. There we go with that. Now, I think I've decided that I'm not going to put any bronzer on my face just because it's just an extra later layer of powder that's going to be going on my face. Next, I'm going to be using this product that I've been loving. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Highlighter. Um, I think that this is so beautiful and it makes the look just look so natural. So what I like to do is I like to put it on the back of my hand. I don't know if I just got a really watery one or if it is somewhat watery, but it's fine. And then I like to get it on a sponge. This is a different sponge than I used on my face. I just like to lightly kind of tap it where I want to have this highlight. So don't be worried the first time you use this if it feels kind of oily on the skin. You have to let it completely dry into the skin before any, before um, that feeling will go away, obviously. But it will stay in place all day. But if you are a little worried about it, you can use a um, powder highlighter. That's sometimes what I'll do just to kind of put over it to set it. But I'm not going to be doing that today just because I think it looks good on its own. Last but not least, my lips. I'm just going to be using plain old chapstick. This stuff has been getting me through a lot lately. It's just plain chapstick, it's, but it's in the flavor Watermelon Splash. So it has like a little bit of a pink color to it. Not crazy. Alright guys, so this is going to be the makeup look that I am going to be wearing at camp all summer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you've been enjoying all the videos that are coming your way this summer because again, I'm having to pre-film all these and pre-edit these and basically pre-upload these and I'm basically cramping this all in in just a couple of days. So hopefully um, the videos are doing really well and you guys are liking them. I hope you guys have a magical rest of your week and I hope to see you all real soon. Bye! Nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, right, where are you from? Mr. Alan.